Here's an update on my Carphone Bluetooth adapter project. I am currently working on integrating it with the hands-free system from the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. This device is the hands-free controller unit that brings everything together. It connects to the car phone, the handset, these hands-free controls that go on the steering column, and the car stereo system, and it taps into the car electrical system for power. I had to update my Bluetooth adapter with an external microphone input so I can plug in the microphone cord from the hands-free system and also have to automatically switch between the hands-free microphone and the handset microphone depending on whether the handset is picked up, should be using this microphone. If it's set down, it should be using that microphone. I also had to update the software on my microcontroller to more accurately mimic the exact behavior of the original car phone because this guy intercepts all the communications between my microcontroller and the handset and watches for very specific sequences of commands to understand what's going on when there's an incoming call, when it's in a call, when the call ends, because this guy needs to know when to switch over to sending the audio to the car stereo system and mute the radio with this wire versus when to allow the audio to pass through to the handset. The buttons on this device allow you to answer and hang up a call or call one of three speed dial numbers. And this goes on the steering column right in front of you while you're driving. And it's this device that actually handles the button presses and converts them into simulated handset button presses as if the user actually pressed the sequence of buttons to recall a number, make a call, answer a call, or end the call. But it sends those commands directly to my adapter as if they were commands from the handset. So that was another thing I had to do is figure out exactly what sequence of commands this sends to my device when you press these buttons in different situations and make sure that my code handles them properly. Let's turn it on and play with it. The switch right here is just like the ignition switch in the car. When you turn the ignition on, the phone powers on. To place an outgoing call from the hands-free controls, press the HF button and then one of the numbered buttons. And it will recall the number and dial it. And the sound comes out the car stereo. U.S. Naval Observatory Master at the phone, Eastern Standard Time. And then if I pick up the handset, the sound comes out the handset. And then press the HF button to end it. I wanted to add modern voice dialing and voice commands to the system, but unfortunately I couldn't directly detect button presses on this device because the hands-free controller interprets these buttons and makes assumptions about the state of the phone and will only simulate very specific commands like placing a call or answering or hanging up a call. So what I did as a workaround, so I programmed a special case for the number 411. If you call the number 411, it will actually initiate voice dialing. And I attached the number 411 to speed dial number one. So let's do some voice commands. When doing a voice command through the car phone system, it's this microphone that picks up your voice, sends it through all of this over Bluetooth to your phone, and then the resulting audio coming from your phone goes over Bluetooth through all of this out through the car stereo speaker.
Tell me a joke. Did you know that nothing spelled backwards is a palindrome? It spells genitum, which also means nothing. Call U.S. Naval Time. Calling U.S. Naval Time. U.S. Naval Observatory Master at the Tone Eastern Standard Zone. Play music. Stop music. When there's an incoming call, the ringer actually comes through the car stereo system. Hello? Hey Jeffy, ready for dinner? No, I'm too busy playing with my car phone. Bye. I can call anyone I want.